guys, Semphis here. I wanted to give you guys a couple of my tips on uh, for newer players and kind of like how to clutch because I feel like most people panic um, when they're inexperienced in clutch situations and a lot of them are fairly easily avoidable. So um, I'm just going to start off with a really basic one. Um, let's say you're like a, you're a B player and uh, but let's, let's just say that it's like a late round and the round turns into 3-3, three, three, so you're be by yourself. Um, and maybe the T's go A and you get left in a 1v1. So this is kind of the worst scenario for you to be in in a 1v1 because you are literally as far possible away that you can be from the other bomb site. It's late round, so you likely don't have many grenades. And he probably has a decent idea that you're not super close so he can plant and go wherever he wants um, in these type of scenarios um, the advantage is greatly on the terrorist side um, a good player should win like 80% of the time uh, so in my opinion depending on your economy um, if you have a lot of money you can kind of play more YOLO but like let's say it's kind of a close game you might be better off doing something like you flank banana and you just walk um, if, if you don't have many nades and you don't pick up any on the on the wall, what, not a bad idea that you'll see a lot of players like Simple and some of those people do is they'll, they'll just walk around and just hope to get lucky. Like basically you don't know where he is, but you're going to walk and you're probably going to lose from time um, if you don't get lucky and find him. So you'll just kind of come out, maybe you drop down over here, uh, you tap the bomb, you kind of hold for a bit, you don't find him, you just run and save. Like... You have to play it how it is. It's in his favor, so you kind of have to do something a little bit risky. Um, if you end up having to save, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you were probably going to lose anyways. Now, if that same scenario happens, but let's say um, they go A earlier in the round, or you happen to pick up more grenades. Um, so let's say you have a Molotov and a Smoke, which would be ideal. That's what most... You know, that, that would be, like, the most ideal thing. Then you probably want to make ground a little bit quicker so you have a little bit more time. Uh, take a little bit of risk, maybe get around this area. It doesn't really matter if he hears you at this point because you're kind of planning to use the grenades anyways. So the point is you need to stay calm in a scenario like this and just... Uh, you, you still take your time and kind of, uh, you know, clear things out. Clear the obvious spots like graveyard. Like, make sure he's not backside over here, whatever. Um... If you came from lane, obviously it's a little bit different. Obviously, uh, you won't be able to clear it as much. Um, so, if it's fine in default, you know, and you're not really sure where he is, you know, what you can do is you can always just come over here, you know, throw a smoke on the bomb, volley this, hold this for a sec, tap the bomb, and then if you think he's hauled or something and he's going to spam, just come around this side, just kill him. Now, you've isolated this spot. He could technically have gone there or headshot, but even if he is headshot, going around this way will kind of like give you a chance, you know what I mean, to, to, you know, to, to kind of hold these two angles. Now, if you did something crazy like when Hall is the boiler, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you still have a chance, um, but the thing is you want to isolate as much spots as you can with the nades and kind of keep calm and like, like a lot of people you'll see they'll have a bunch of nades and they'll just do something where they'll like run up, throw a smoke and just defuse the bomb. And it's like, if you have time, why take the risk of him spamming you? Um, if the bomb's like, beep, 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 okay, I get it. Like, you, you don't really have a lot of options there. Um, you're just going to have to go for, like, a yellow full diffuse and a smoke. But if you have a decent amount of time and you got there semi-quickly and you have a lot of nades and health, I'd play it a little bit slower. Um, so, those are just my opinions if you're, like, on the other side of the map. Now, let's say... Um, let's say it's one of those rounds where, like, it's... Oh, the, you know, smokes over the wall, smokes over the wall. Um, you know, they're coming a 100% Molotovs, blah, blah, blah. They're all calling, you know, bombs there on radar. You're here pretty quick. You're here quicker than you should be. Um, even if your whole team dies and you end up being in, like, a 1v2, you're probably going to have a really good idea of where they are because your teammates' comms will still be relevant. So if they say one planted in sight, uh, other guy hauls, you know, it, you know, there's a ton of different ways. All you want to do is try to sneak up and use that timing and get there quickly. Take a gamble that this guy didn't jump in a pit and just assume he's still in hauls. Try to kill this guy. 
and then you know his halls, and then you can kind of play the one v one. Too many times you'll see people kind of like they'll get they'll get here, and they'll come over. I mean, going this way is not a bad idea either. But like my point is like they'll they'll come here and they'll just like sit here with aim battles. But if you're here quick enough, catching them off guard while he's planning and just kind of walking into the site, it's pretty big advantage if you got an early enough comm and you were there quick enough. Now, obviously, if you're in that middle ground where, like, the bomb's j getting planted and it's planted, then, you know, going and just playing it smart, kind of like, you know, a lot of good players will stand around here and look for aim battles, look for a guy to fuck up. Now, this is where you'll see a lot of players like Nico and, like, you know, those those type of guys. Um, when they rotate over, they don't just run in the site and try to kill someone. They wait. And they try to let people fuck up. You know, they'll sit around here for a while. They'll sit around here. They'll, they'll take some shots. Um, another th another thing you'll see a lot of good players do is say there's a guy here and there's a guy at this box. What they'll do is they'll like they'll shoot at this guy. This guy will peek. That guy will hide. He'll, they'll go like this and they'll come back and wait for the repeek. It's very, very important that you get good at doing this if you're going to be one of those guys that's left in late round situations. It works on T, it works on CT. Kind of like just everyone's natural instinct, or it should be, is to help their teammates. So this guy might be full hiding, um, and he's going to wait for contact, right? As soon as contact happens, he's going to swing. This is a good play, right? This guy's fighting, this guy's fighting, but you use the wall kind of to your advantage, you know? Kill this guy, then you're in a 1v1. You know, then you can kind of just play the 1v1. Now, this is still pretty hard. This is like a 50-50. It just depends on how he plays it and if you hit your shot, you know. Like, it, it's... I, there's there's nothing special you can do if you don't have any nades. So, um, th th those are just my opinions on, like, some of the little things you can do to get better um, at win those rounds. Just taking your time. Now, the biggest mistake that people make is when you've lost. There, there's times you know you've lost. This guy hits you to 10 health. There's a dude in sight. You're not winning this round. Unless they just whiff or you hit the most miraculous shots ever. Just save. Just save. Just take your loss. It's fine. Just run away. Just run away. It's, it's totally fine to run away. Um, saving in this game is... You, you can always win around, especially on a map like Inferno with small corridors and stuff. Like, I know it's T-sided, but, like, even having a gun and a couple CZs on the next round, you know, it's still always a potential to upset, um, you know... Or, a team so i would just take it save maybe pick up some nades if you if you have them and just you know take your gun to the next round now i mean most of those things probably seem kind of basic and uh, i mean that's what this video is for um it, it, it's for more of like the basic plays so um now if your teammates are uh, another mistake i've seen people make is they'll leave themselves in positions where they're going to be put in a 1v1 right so what will happen is you'll be in a 2v1 or a 2v2 so your teammate will play big pit and you will play spindle in my opinion this is not really the smartest idea because you're 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 both left in like terrible spots where you're really far from each other um in a 2v1 where there's two a 2v2, it's a little bit different. You can make a case for, for playing separate. Um, in a 2v1, I really like people sticking together more and just letting them get a free plant. Um, so that'd be something where, like, maybe on uh, at the B site, you'd come somewhere like this and just kind of hold and don't commit and die. Just kind of like, oh, he smokes spawn, he's in the site, or, like, you see him jump across, maybe you kill him. If your teammate's over at A, maybe he plays towards the arch side, just kind of spotting, and then you guys just group up. Um, obviously, these are just kind of like on the fly things, but like, don't you don't need to always be committed um, in a two v one because then you leave yourself in really bad one v ones. One v ones on Inferno are very hard to win, um, especially when the T has a lot of time to reposition. If you are playing, um, if you're playing coffins and you die at B, and your teammate was hiding big pit. This guy has to run all the way to B. This guy is planted, and he knows the other guy was A at this point. So this guy has to run all the way back to B. 
And then where? And then what does he do? It, like, he has to guess. There's not enough nades in the world unless there's, like, four in water to just molly emo and stuff. Like, you can pick one. You can isolate one with a molly. But, like, even then, you know, he could be backhaul. He could be waiting right at this corner. He could be a fucking tree. He could have gone banana. You know, like, there's so many spots. So then you go and tap the bomb. Um, obviously, if you have a smoke, that's great. That This is probably a round you just want to fucking stick it, honestly. Um, but... My, my point is, is that you're leaving yourself at huge disadvantage, so trying to avoid even getting in a 1v1 um, is probably ideal in this situation. So um, doing kind of what I said where you kind of like give up the, both the sites with just some eyes, um, even in a 2v2, you know, it's not a bad idea. Just let them have the site. It's fine. Like, okay, try to do some damage to the smoke and then group up. It's a, it's a little bit safer, right? Um, everyone has different play styles and different philosophies, but that's just my opinion on it. Um, and yeah, so this is mostly just CT side stuff, but uh, I hope I hope some of this helps. I'm gonna try to put a little tips like this maybe once a week and uh, tell me what you guys think. Peace.